Hello YouTubes and welcome to Up Down Left Right where we explore the latest news in the gaming universe. So a retired Sony engineer is suing Nintendo for some of the technology in the Nintendo 3DS. This guy worked at Sony for nearly 30 years and holds over a hundred patent applications worldwide. Now he's suing for one patent which I can't remember the full description basically it's for the 3D without glasses. So this guy's taking on Nintendo. Good luck. I mean, do you really expect to take down Nintendo and actually get some kind of settlement? Now this is just stupid. It's almost as stupid as those idiots who are trying to sue Sony over the PSN outage. I mean, the PSN outage, which is a free service, and you expect to actually manage to sue Sony, and what you will get is basically nothing. So what is the point? Now this guy who's taken on Nintendo, Fair, if your patent has been infringed, then fair enough, I can understand why you'd want to go after Nintendo, but come on, this is Nintendo we're talking about. Do you really think that you can take on Nintendo and their legion of powerful lawyers? Dream on, son. I mean, best case scenario is you get stuck with a big pile of legal fees and get forced to make a public apology to Nintendo. Don't be fooled by their supposed family-oriented nature. Nintendo are just as evil a corporation as anyone else. Comic Con is coming up this month and good news for Mass Effect fans because the Mass Effect movie is going to be discussed there. Now there's not much to talk about yet about the Mass Effect movie apart from the fact that supposedly it's going to be written fairly close to the plot of the game. But no one's been cast yet and I don't even know if they finished writing it yet. But here's my suggestion. I say we cast Matthew Fox in the lead role. Think about it. Matthew Fox played Jack Shepard in Lost, and the default name of Shepard in Mass Effect is John, which is also another name for Jack. Plus, they both have the same haircut. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Still on the topic of video game movies, fans of Uncharted will have been delighted to hear that David O. Russell has dropped out of the project. Now I myself was glad to hear that we wouldn't be getting another video game movie where the plot has nothing to do with the games whatsoever. Super Mario Bros anyone? So you'll be glad to hear that Neil Berger, director of The Illusionist, is taking the reins of the film project and is looking to make a movie that closely resembles the stories in the game. Maybe now we can finally convince someone that Nathan Fillion is perfect for the part of Drake. If you're listening, Neil, we want Nathan for the part. He'd be perfect. Okay guys, so my featured video of today is Final Fantasy Stop Motion Sephiroth the World's Enemy. Now this video is truly creative and imaginative and is by far the best stop motion animation I have ever seen. So I encourage you to check it out, give it a click, or click the link in the description below. Now if you'd like to have one of your videos featured in an upcoming episode, or you have any recommendations for me, then leave a video response below, or send me a message on here, or on Facebook, or Twitter. So now's the part where I would showcase some of your opinions on the news in the episode before, but since it's the first episode, I don't have anything to showcase. So I'm just going to end the video with some of my favourite video game quotes. But let me know what you think about any of the topics in the comments below, and I will pick the best four and feature them in the next video. Thanks for watching Up Down Left Right, I'm Maddie McHarry, and I hope to see you again next week.